Peace and love, family. It's your girl, Six the Goddess. And keep in mind, I'm a goddess and I'm sensitive about my shift. Hope you all are doing well. I was doing better until I heard about this story. You know, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not in the mood. This pissed me off. This is very triggering for me. I'm letting y'all know now. I'm going to try my best to speak in a way to keep this video monetized. But if the spirit take over and just need me to say what need to be said, then so be it. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about Drea being pregnant by Jalen. What a black, what a boy. Is, there's so many Jalen's now. Hurts or green. I don't know what Jalen is, but she's pregnant by a 21 year old. Um, there's a lot that has to be said about this. I am particularly triggered by this topic with me being the son of uh, being the mother of a young man, a son as well. Okay. So I'm letting y'all know now I'm not going to be nice about this, but it need to be said now. Before I get into the topic, ladies, ladies, what are you doing? If you don't know by now, I have a women's only Patreon, okay? It is a community of hundreds of women who are solution oriented, want to look good, don't want to be in victimhood, want to grow, want to elevate. Um, we have movie nights. I have exclusive content in the Patreon just for the girls there. I get ready for all of my recorded and live content um on live stream there i show you all the products i use all the tips all the tricks everything i do for my beauty routines i don't hold nothing back um and while i'm doing that we have girls talk about different helpful discussions in regards to womanhood wifehood sisterhood daughterhood all the womanhoods um we have a discord which is like a group chat uh we do meetups we have it's just a really solid community of women from all walks of life that you need to come be a part of. Okay. So if you're tired of being mean and ugly, come to death row, honey. Um, now, um, we're going to go ahead and get right to it. The glasses are going on. So y'all already know what that means. You know, I'm about to go in. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Congrats. First of all, I am so incredibly tired of seeing congrats because a bit got fucked. Like I'm so tired, okay? Because that means if I got some peen last night, I want a congratulations too. Quiet as it's kept, there is no reason to congratulate a woman because she's pregnant, okay? I know that we used to these, you know, cliche of, oh, a child, all children are blessings. I beg to differ. All right. Though the conception of life, you know, is ordained by God for some reason or another, these circumstances that these children are brought into most of the time present day are so less than blessed. OK, there's nothing blessed about it for majority of the way that kids are coming to be present day. So we need to normalize, you know, destroy the congratulations. You having your feet in the air and that equaling you a baby is nothing to congratulate a woman about. I'm just going to be the one to go ahead and say it. I'm tired of, you know, these weird rules we have on conception of, oh, these children are a blessing. It's finally time that we go ahead and accept, no, they are not. Okay. They're not. And that any girl with half of a brain and an open hole between her legs can do that. All right. So let, let's let's stop that. So there had been speculations for a while that she was pregnant and her and the baby daddy were neither confirming nor denying the allegations. And so now she just came out today pretty much, you know, not pretty much, but definitely letting us know that she is. Drea is 39 years old. The boy that she pregnant by is 21. Needless to say, she is 100% old enough to be, not only to be his mother, but that she does actually have a child who is the same age, which essentially would mean that when your son, for example, invites his friends over to the house, that would mean that you're attracted to them, okay? That means that your son innocently will be hanging out with his boys at the house playing Xbox and that means that you would be over there eyeballing them. I want you all to really let it sink in of what this means when you're pregnant by someone where your child is older than them, okay, as a woman. 
And before we even go any further, I'm letting y'all know right now, let me make myself bigger so I can look y'all in the eyes when I say this. Any one of you can ain't it basic that get in my comments talking about, well, men do it. I'm blocking you. Okay. Period. And I'm making a mental note of all you disgusting that sit there and say, what's wrong with it? Men do it because now ladies keep in mind who to keep away from your kids. Okay. And we don't have enough conversations. We speak so much about, you know, a, a father keeping his daughter safe from stuff like that. And we don't talk enough about how mothers need to keep their sons safe from these nasty, disgusting, big Thomas the Train engine coochie having horse. Okay. So let me let me get into her caption. The caption sent me over the edge. Okay. The, the way that women feed people BS to try to do it in a way with like violin music going off in the back as though you are so noble and how this is just so beautiful kills me. And I see why y'all don't like people who see that game, who sees that game that you play and be like, girl, bye, go to hell. Because y'all really bank on that. Y'all really bank on if you can just say something with enough live, laugh, love energy behind it, y'all hope and pray that it will suffice and people will just roll with it. So when someone is like, girl, what are you talking about? Y'all get so mad. Let me make this bigger so we can read this BS together. Now y'all get ready, okay? This is so much BS, child. It might hurt y'all chest a little bit. This disgusting whore says, Happy hashtag International Women's Day. As women, we navigate through so much, often leading us to question, what is my purpose? For me, the magic lies in motherhood and the awe-inspiring ability to bring life into this world over the span of two decades. Translation, I know this coochie old as hell. I know this coochie AARP old as dirt. But somehow all this powder in my coochie was able to conceive a, a child, a.k.a. she even telling us about that old ass puss, that geriatric coochie. Baby going to come out covered in powder, powdery ass coochie, thin lining ass coochie, premenopause coochie. The baby going to come out looking old. The baby going to come out with goddamn rash. Baby going to come out with gout. Baby going to come out with three prescriptions that it needs refill. Baby going to come, come out with Medicare. Old ass coochie. Make me freaking sick. It's my superpower. And if anything can surpass the wonder of being a woman, it's the privilege of bringing another woman into existence. We are overjoyed to share our love for you, little girl. I'm excited to speak words to the daughter I never thought I'd have. We are anxious about your arrival, but take your time. This world can be tough, but know that you are being brought into a space of love, security, and adornment. Hashtag 28 weeks, seven months, coming May 2024. Hashtag girl mom, bitch, go to hell as fast as you possibly can. OK, bitch, you need an expedited ticket one way to hell with a gasoline thong up your ass. That's what you need. OK, you fucking ostrich emu looking bitch. See, I know a lot of people, you know, can't get down with my get down. You know, I'm a Florida girl, honey. We just built different in Florida. The, the older I get, the more life experience I come across, the more I realize I'm like, you know, us Florida folks, we just we just built different. OK, because one of the main things about being from Florida is we believe in clearing you and we believe in beating ass. OK, we just do. I didn't even know that beating ass wasn't really a thing other places until I left Florida. I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't know that. OK, in Florida, we that's how we get down, honey. There is none of this. So I this is why I will stand by the fact that all of that. Oh, you're a lady. Um, you know, ladies don't fight lady. Like I will continue to say that that is BS 
And that just like men respect each other better because they understand the threat of violence between each other. They understand that disrespect can mean having to physically get down. So that's the reason why men respect each other in a different way than women do. I will be, I will continue to say that we need to normalize. I don't care if you man or woman. Okay. And if you're of the same sex and you try it, catching these hands. Cause I'm telling y'all right now what need to happen. All right. For me as a son who was a teenager, I already know. Luckily I am proficient in ancient bitchology. Okay. Luckily I have been saw the light a very long time ago to know that y'all ain't here. But the problem with this is the clear lack of feminine protection on this side of Jalen, because you know, I haven't done my research yet, nor do I want to, because it really doesn't matter at this point. Where is your mama? Because if this was my son and God, I pray to you every day. OK, with my son being a handsome young man, turning into a young man, I pray every day. Lord, just please, you know, my heart. Every day I pray that don't nobody bring they old use hippopotamus eight zoo atlanta eight orangutan baloo the bear old ass coochie and bring that around my son and have my son in a situation like this because i'm telling y'all right now if y'all ever see a news headline like oh six of goddess is in the feds nine times out of ten this is probably the type of thing that happened because if any bitch would think that you finna bring your old ass geriatric Medicaid senior citizen coffee coochie and sit and mind control a child, y'all can say what y'all want. I heard people already saying 21 is not a child. Yes, it is. 21 is definitely a child, especially in a male. Because we already know there's already a delay. So a 21 year old male, please has pretty much the mentality of a 13-year-old child if we're it, quiet as it's kept, okay? So what need to happen, what, ha what should have happened from the very beginning, matter of fact, the first step, he should have been like, you know what? I'm not even about to date somebody older than my mama because I know my mama crazy. Your sons need to have a certain level of knowing that you crazy, Okay. If they don't have a certain healthy fear of you, it may make them squander their life thinking that they would be able to still breathe after sitting up here laying up in some old powdery coochie. OK, so what would it need to happen is from the second that this woman thought she was going to parade around, ha ha, kiki, holding hands. Uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, ha ha, he can with a, a, a someone younger than her child. Her mama should have beat her ass from then. I'm just going to go ahead and be the one to say it. There's no other way to handle girls like Drea than to beat their ass because girls like Drea are slow. I've been knew she was slow. I've been knew, you know what? I'm glad that this woman looked good because if not, I just don't know where she would be in life. But see, the problem is them looks only take you so far. Nobody knows what her talent is. Nobody knows what she really has going for herself. And it never fails. I talked about this before. I said there is something about when a woman reached that age of around 38 that they almost always get up and do something so dumb. Because most women don't know their own bodies. They don't know the stages of their hormones. They don't know why they do certain things. So many women, when they hit around that 40 mark or close to it, and the hormones start slowing down and premenopause start to kick in, they go through a crisis. A woman's midlife crisis is hormonal. OK, and now when the Instagram model money has dried up, when all these men have slept with you, but never married you, never stayed with you. One that one guy was your fiance for six damn years, never, ever walked you down the aisle, maybe because deep down inside he knew you was the damn devil. Maybe because deep down inside he knew in his spirit, this woman is Satan. Because any woman that's sitting get knocked up by an 18 year old or 20, 20, 21 year old with an 18 year age difference and she 40, there is something demonic because it's not even natural for a woman to be attracted to a man that much younger than her. It's not even natural for a woman to be attracted to a man that has that much less experience than her. Healthy women are attracted to men who are more experienced than them, who have 
who have uh, who are smarter than them, who can lead them. There is something psychologically very wrong with any woman who finds herself attracted to someone that she could potentially mother. When I think about my son hanging out with his friends, the mere thought of myself or anyone in my age range eyeballing him and his children, honey, my fist just ball up at the at him and his friends. I'm sorry, my fist just balls up at the thought of it. Now, any woman in their 30s, myself included, will tell you, especially if you're an attractive woman in your 30s or your 40s, even your 50s, if you're an older attractive woman, period, young men always like you. They always try to talk to you, always, okay? But when these boys who can be your son try to talk to you, I don't even believe in, I, I be seeing some girls my age, these young boys try to talk to them and they laugh and, oh, <laughs> and why are you too young? Go sit down. I don't even believe in that. Ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing to smile about. Ain't nothing flattering. When I have these boys that's 20, 21, trying to holler at me on some Miss Parker, I get very sick. I be like, boy, go sit down somewhere. You need to be focused on college. You need to be focused on bettering yourself. Stop getting out of focus, worried about trying to lay up with a woman, let alone a woman twice your age. Do not disrespect me like that. That's how I treat 21 year olds who try to holler at me. I damn near scold them like a mother. I tell them, excuse me, you're being disrespectful. I'm going to be your mother. You need to go sit down, go do your homework. I am not kidding. There is a certain level, in my opinion, as black people, all black children are our children. Period. So when I see a 21 year old boy, trying to buck his eyes at me and holler at me, boy, go sit down. Don't disrespect me like that. Young man, that's how I counteract it. But I be seeing some of you, ooh, I want to say, ooh, I, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to not really snap right now. I am so incredibly triggered by this because I see this all the time. I see you. I see you hoes. Where when them boys, young enough to be your sons, Bat their eyelash at you and try to holler at you. I be seeing y'all laughing. I be seeing y'all <laughs> stop because y'all are so underdeveloped as women. You're so out of touch. You're so you're you're so much of a delay as a grown woman that you just you just don't have it. It's too many y'all y'all play these games. You big grown ass freight train city bus coochie having old ass middle aged menopausal hoes grown men do not take y'all seriously grown men see you and in a second can tell you a goofy and they overlook y'all so the minute that these little children eyeball y'all i be seeing y'all oh, boy stop and i always make note because when y'all sit there and laugh like oh, boy y'all young behind go sit down i know what that means you'll go because the fact that someone who could be your child try to holler at you and your first instinct is not to correct them as a mother and point them in direction, but you laughing and you're flattered by it. Oh, when nobody's looking, I know y'all hoes will be laid up with them little boys. Okay. This grown woman pussy. When a boy is sleeping with another girl his age, they're on the same level sexually. Okay. They're on the same level. They can learn and grow together. Grown woman level of pussy. Grown woman level of bedroom activity can quite literally ruin his life. As a woman, you already have a certain psychological advantage over a man. Your brain multitasks, processes things differently than a man. So when you go ahead and add on the fact that he is young enough to be your child, it is a completely demonic and unfair advantage that you have over him. Let him grow in his intimacy levels with girls his age. It is not fair for you to have an 18 year old, an 18 year head start mentally, sexually, physically, and every way else and sit there and lay up with these kids. And it makes sense. That's why even at 21 years old, you know, successful in the NBA, that's how you were still able to to uh, somehow make this shake to where he has ruined his life. As a woman, 
talking to a young black man who is the age of your children, your job is to support him. Never should a woman that age say, you know what? I'm going to ruin this boy's life by already before he can even barely buy an alcoholic beverage to have him paying child support and worried about child custody and visitation. You're supposed to see a young black man being successful and doing his thing and encourage him, guide him, give him advice if necessary, not derail him. Everybody with a bit of common sense knows that the more children a man has in the home that is not with him, the more poor he will be. Everybody knows it. The quickest way, I don't care how much money a man has. It's not sustainable. The quickest way to go broke, end up broke, or never being able to retire is to have children in multiple households. If you want to expedite ending up broken, sad, go ahead and have a bunch of baby mamas. That's the quickest way to do it. And as a woman old enough to be his mother, you don't say to yourself, at the very least, sis, if you was going to sit there and use him as some type of toy, at the very least, you're going to be like, well, let me just have my fun, but I'm not about to ruin this boy's life before it can even start by already having him worried about baby mama drama and child support. I'm not even about to do that. But because your old senior citizen, James and the giant peach coochie, because you're at the end of your road, because you need a retirement plan, you went ahead and set that self up for yourself despite... And could not have possibly cared less about the well-being of that boy. I don't want to hear nobody say, well, he was grown. He knew what he was doing. Bullshit. The advantage that she has over him is sick. I would be willing to bet that poor boy probably has some type of mommy issues. Okay. I have seen this happen too many times. And you disgusting old ass bitches, y'all be knowing the boys that have mommy issues. Y'all be knowing the boys that might be vulnerable and susceptible to your shit. And y'all sniff it out and you prey on it. Now this boy is barely off the porch at 21. Hasn't even had a chance to make a name for himself yet. Hasn't even had a chance to get on his own two feet yet. And you already going to have him caught up in caring for a child. When if I was to see a 21-year-old boy, I'd give him advice. Hey, you know, get your money, keep your head down. Don't have no kids till you're ready to get married with your wife. Don't get married till you're ready to do right, be faithful, and be a husband. And you over here with your disgusting, emu, llama head ass over there with your legs, wide open, feet straight 90 degrees to the ceiling for somebody's son. Girl, if that boy mama fuck you up, so be it, because you deserve it. OK, and for women out there, the same way that people will say that for a boy, he need his uh, for a girl. She need her father to protect her, you know, to watch out for things for her. That same protection needs to be normalized for your sons, because in my opinion, an older woman preying on a younger man like this has more of a power over the mental than a man with a younger girl. OK, I'm sorry, especially when young boys are way more intercourse driven. So when a, you got a grown woman older to be his mom, putting some grown woman coochie on him, it's, honey, a recipe for disaster. So the only way to combat this issue is women need to start doing more to police other women when it comes to stuff like this. I don't have some women with my own son that or associates or people I knew where deep down inside, I'm like, this girl don't get no attention from no man. I really feel like if my son or his friends or something was to compliment her and bat their eyelash at her, I've seen girls where I'm like, I feel like deep down inside she'll go. This is why we see the rising issue with teachers sleeping with, with their students. My son the other day was like, oh, mom, you know, I want to stay for tutoring. And my, my first question, is it a male or female teacher? Are y'all in the room by yourself? He was like, why are you asking all these questions? Like, what are you worried about? Boy, don't worry about it. Just know that I have things, questions I have to ask. Because once your sons reach those teenage years, 
and they're heading into manhood, their voice start getting deep, their bodies start getting built. That's exactly when them fucking geriatric, disgusting hoes start to want to stick their teeth in. And I already know I'm not trying to go to jail because I already know what I'm going to do. I pray to God, don't nobody ever put their old ass, disgusting hands on mine. OK, because while everybody else going to sit there and verbally say stuff to you, I'm coming straight with these hands, period. I promise you that. And, and it's going to be one of the things where until you leave my child alone, every time I see you, you're going to get the business every single time. And when it comes to slow girls like that, that's the only way to deal with them. You have to treat them like children because there is clearly a form of arrested development in their mind. For them to even feel attracted and aligned with the boy who could be your son, who is younger than your son. Okay. That baby finna come out looking old, period. All right. That baby is coming out with psoriasis. That baby coming out with back pains and everything else. While this demon of a woman, you have no idea. The curse you just put on that little girl in your womb right now. And God help you the fact that you're having a daughter. Lord. See, it's all fun and games when you're over there with your feet. You're disgusting. Yeah, have you ever seen this bitch fucking toes? This ostrich looking bitch. That's why your toes look like the left foot represent the bloods and the right foot represent the crips. Okay. And they beefing. All right. You fucking crooked toe ho. So now what you have done is you have cursed that baby girl in your womb. You have no idea what you have just done. All right. There is a special karmic energy that is coming for a hoe like you. Okay. This girl need to be canceled. I know she sell, she sell her little bathing suits and stuff like that. Y'all need to be canceling her. Do not order from her website. Don't do anything. Jalen, if you see this young man. You need prayer, young man. Young man, I don't know where your family is, but you need to cleave to them. All right. You need to take a step. At this point, young man, it's too late. She's already seven months. Now, I'm not going to say what I would still do if I was his mother, her being seven months or not. I'm not even going to repeat what I'll do because y'all already probably think I'm crazy. I ain't going to say what I would do. But what I will say, young man, please, you need some type of womanly protection in your life. And see, this is my other problem, because this is the other side of men telling young boys, oh, you young, like, you know, you need to go ahead and weigh your options, sow your royal oats, do your thing. My problem with that is that nobody has a discussion with them on what happens after situations like this. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so you sit there and say, so your royal oats, sleep with this one, sleep with that one. What is the procedure for when an old emu llama ostrich is sinking her claws into him? What's the excuse then? You know what I'm saying? What's the advice then? We got to stop telling these young boys, oh, you young. Yeah, you need to be active. You need to be sleeping with this girl, sleeping with that girl. We need to stop doing that because nobody has the answer for when stuff like this happens. And now that boy about to sign up for 18 years in child support at 21. Y'all, I, I, I just, when I tell y'all more and more, the way I see that y'all bitches ain't shit, it just, sometimes I just sit back and I just, I'm like, this is why I just stay to myself, mind my business, you know, bake my bread, you know, go to the farmer's market. I just mind my business because this is why I don't have many friends. This is why I don't hang with y'all hoes. And especially now that I have a son who is older and turning into a young man. Now I for sure ain't bringing none of y'all hoes around my son because the way I saw y'all hoes, too many y'all hoes talking about this is cute. Men do it. The way I saw too many of y'all saying that, oh, y'all, they won't, we don't want nobody coming around my child. Oh, y'all hoes won't even breathe his air. I promise you that. Okay. Ladies, you need to do what you need to do to protect your sons the same way a daughter need her father protection. This disgusts me. Um, I hope this bitch go to hell with a scholarship. Okay. There, God, the, the devil has a special place in hell for her. There's no excuse for this. 
I don't want to hear nothing. Anyone who get in the comments and try to defend this, I might block you. I welcome everyone to give their opinion, but you are not going to sit here and condone this. This is wrong, period. If you don't think it's wrong, ladies, any one of your friends that say, what's wrong with that? Make a note and fire that bitch or keep that bitch away from your kids, period. Okay. Oh, uh, y'all respectfully let me know y'all thoughts in the comments, y'all. Please, what do y'all think about this? This is this has opened up a conversation that need to be had and ha really has needed to be had for some time now. Okay, make sure you all are subscribed to my channel, like the video, leave a comment with your thoughts, and I will see you all on the next one.